Prime Minister Yoshi Konoda says decontamination is the basic requirement for the recovery and revival of Fukushima. Noda made the remark after he visited the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant on Sunday. Nearly 18 months have passed since the earthquake and tsunami devastated northeastern Japan on March 11th. Noda visited the top floor of the building housing the number four reactor at Fukushima Daiichi. The building was seriously damaged by a hydrogen explosion. The pool at the number four reactor stores the biggest amount of spent nuclear fuel at the plant. Noda was briefed on a procedure for removing the fuel. When Noda visited the control rooms of the number one and two reactors, the lights were turned off to recreate the scenes immediately after the nuclear disaster. We collected data in the dark and wrote it down chronologically while trying our best to respond to the emergency. I've been stressing that Japan's revival will never be complete without Fukushima's rebuilding. I want everyone to work harder toward the goal of decommissioning the reactors. According to sources, the degrading little show went on for nearly 45 minutes. Noda also visited an elementary school in Naraha town about 20 kilometers south of Fukushima Daiichi. The state began full-scale decontamination work at the school about one week ago. Noda inspected the work on the roof of the school building and on the ground. It's my second visit to Fukushima Daiichi. Compared to the last time I made a visit in September, the task of removing the debris is complete. I was able to confirm that steady progress is being made toward decommissioning the reactors. But I think there's still a long way to go. He has to know how ridiculous he looks. Noda also said he has instructed the Environment Minister to speed up the decontamination work by transferring authority to the Fukushima Environment Revival Office. Eyewitnesses agreed that the most heart-wrenching moment came when the man was forced to bend down on his hands and knees like a trained animal and repeatedly raise his leg back until his trainer told him he could stop. Tackling the problems at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is one of the most urgent tasks for the Japanese Prime Minister. Yoshihiko Noda met the workers there and thanked them for their efforts to clear up the troubles at the facilities. Noda had talks with eight workers of Tokyo Electric Power Company. They were at the plant immediately after the nuclear accident in March of last year. Thanks to your dedicated efforts at the front line, we now can work toward cleaning up the plant. I'd like to express my gratitude from the bottom of my heart. Noda called for their continued cooperation in carrying out procedures to decommission facilities and other recovery efforts. His government has promised to decommission the reactors in about 40 years. Noda also held talks with police officers assigned to the evacuation zone. He said he is counting on them to maintain security in the zone day and night. Local newborn Nathan Jameson surprised the world earlier this morning by irrevocably losing all faith in humanity after just six days. Spokespeople for the six-day-old baby have confirmed he already knows that humans cannot be trusted and that most people lack self-awareness about their own destructive tendencies. Japanese companies are now developing new materials to help dispose of radioactive elements. They plan to call on the central and local governments to adopt their new technologies. Major metal maker Doha Holdings has developed iron powder that absorbs radioactive cesium dissolved in water. An experiment shows the iron powder can cut in half the amount of cesium in water. The used powder can then be removed with red magnets. Leading chemical textile maker Toyobo has combined two cesium-absorbing elements to create a material that's more effective in decontamination. The firm says a test demonstrates that the new material can remove 99% of 10 milligrams of cesium in one liter of water. Elsewhere, chemical maker Union Showa has produced a new material that seals in cesium after being burned solid in high heat. The material can be used in storing waste collected in decontamination work.
sometimes just think funny things. 